Let's see here. There's a cat. Oh my god. Okay. So now we have video playback. That's very good. Now audio is... Ah, crap. I'm going to have to refresh this. Yes, I hear you purring. Congratulations. Okay, how is the audio here? Okay, how is the Very good. Now I'm going to have to refresh the page because we just now hit 24 hours total on the session timer, which makes absolutely no sense because I have not been streaming this whole time. Anyway, I guess that's just a, a thing that Twitch does now, which is admittedly really annoying, but whatever. Oh, calm down. <laughs> okay, so we got our timer going for once. And what the heck is that? Oh, the bitrate. Right. As per the usual, bitrate is probably completely chaotic. That's perfectly fine. Push our little link stream up. Oop. Happy face. There we go. All right, before we really get started, let me get a drink here. Ah! I'm gonna have to go back to getting the big bottles again. I take big sips and that just drains through this too quickly. I need a vat of dew. Just like a, a giant cauldron, not cauldron, uh, I guess, yeah, they are called vats, aren't they? You know those big giant things the they have like beer in and whatnot? I need one of those, but with soda in it instead. That would be awesome. And I'd go through that in like a week. Probably not healthy, but who cares? Anyway. Hi, Whisker. Hello. You're adorable. Okay, I need my hand. Oh, no. Welcome back, lovelies, to Let's Play The Sinking City with me, Lily and Graves. Now, we are at a bit of a problem. Fresh fish. Fresh fish. Just caught, fresh fish? Fresh fish. I think you meant fish. I'm not quite sure. Where the devil am I going? The... Well... Actually, no, we need that boat, so in this way. Delightful! Hello. Hey, are you the guy that I pay to get my, rid of my bounty? Oh, wait, no, that's uh, Assassin's Creed. Right. Oh, wait, where you go? But yeah, I remember the last time I left off here, we were talking with the, uh... the Grey Fox, basically. The underworld... Mafioso dude. Whatever the hell his name was. The boss. Hey, you ran up and hit me. You said that's it up there. You need a cop drop? Anyway. That hell is that? Is it? Oh, it's a bow! It's an overturned boat. Oh, man, I thought it was a whale that had, like, halfway beached itself. Man, that is, a, that is a hell of a thing. And holy crap, those shadows. Okay, so... Can I cut through here? Ooh, actually... May do as well to go down to Sunset Avenue instead. Let's do that! Uh, is I think? Yeah. Alright. Whoa! Off-roading! Or, off- Off-watering. What's it called when a boat goes on to land? Not- not like, uh, getting carried up by like a, uh, you know, a truck or whatever, uh, going on proper. I mean, like, ramping off something and just landing. Uh, gee, Dad, I think that's called crashing. Thanks, Flo. Anyway, uh, but no. There's gotta be a term for it. If it, like, skids along the, uh, surface of the, like, a road or something, and the boat itself is fine. 
Wait, that feels wrong. That is very wrong. Should have made it right there. All right. It's a way. Back up a bit. Now let's go forward a bit. And turn to the left. My apologies, my friend. You may have caught my hat, but I'm just going to take that hook with me. Ow! Out of the way. Uh, excuse me. I am going to be bubbly this episode. I can guarantee. I just ate. Like, literally. I have kind of been pressed for time all day. Because... Oh, blimey, I did it again. Oh, wait, no. Left here. There we go. But yeah. So I got home at my usual time at like uh, nearly three. And instead of diving into a shower like I normally do to keep contaminating everything, I had to. Uh, where am I? I had to do laundry, which one takes ages. And two, I had to make sure that I was in that room so that the very moment that the laundry gets done, I can grab it and take it out and bring it back to my place. Because apparently, if I don't do it within eight and a half seconds, then I get in trouble for it. Which is stupid. I had a little bit of patience here. Anyway. Are we actually getting close to it this time, or am I mistaken again? App? There we go. Okay, so when it's like... Let's see, we're going this way. So when it's on that side of the uh, compass, then we should go. Keep on, keep it on here. Well, yeah, I had to wait so long just to do the laundry. 30 minutes for the washer, an hour for the uh, dryer. And then immediately hop in the shower, get all dressed and fancied up, which... I didn't even have to really have time for that, either. Tomorrow, though. Tomorrow I will. Okay, here we go. Now we're looking right. Now we're cooking with grass. It's grass? Gas! Wait a minute. Cooking with grass is a different thing. Okay, so... We is here. Now, the alleyway we're looking for is... Uh, is this it? Nope, that is blocked off. It's very near. I remember that much. Yeah, ha! Here we go. Hello, boys! How you doing? How, how, how you doing? How you... Why can't I talk to you? What? Oh no. Um. You guys are supposed to talk to me. Ooh, this is a problem. Uh. Okay. Oh. Oh my. If they won't talk to me, then that means I'm gonna have to figure stuff out on my own, which... Wait, maybe... Hang on. Maybe we got a, a quest from the guy. Right? Yellow tag that was on Brutus when he woke up in the crematorium. Nameless is Jack White. Which is the Joker, if I remember correctly. Um, one of his monikers is Jack White, Jack Napier, Jack Spratt. Probably. I don't know. Okay, so, uh, pin that. We definitely have the missions that we got from the the boss guy. Okay, so we don't actually have to do this. Thank Jiminy Christmas, because I thought, for a sec there, I thought that I had somehow glitched out because I didn't properly save, even though I obviously save. I'm gonna sneeze. Anyway. It went back to this point before I had gotten to the boss and, like, deleted my progress and now completely corrupted my save file where I'd never be able to continue. That would be horrible. May want to rethink that, uh, Frogwares, the saving pattern of this. 
If it's an autosave, sure. You know, you have a checkpoint. There's an autosave. No problem. You fast travel somewhere. Have an autosave. A little bit of backup. No problem. When you have a manual save, and you save in this exact spot, when you load that save, you would better appear in that exact spot, or this is the level of confusion that it causes, and that's a problem. So, frogwares, they're never going to listen to this, but <laughs> hell, they're never going to see this. I'd be amazed if they did. Hello. Anyway, just saying, that would definitely improve things. Or at least reduce the level of confusion. Let's see. Let's go... Wait, that doesn't really describe anything. Hi. You're a kitty. And you're adorable. A week ago, Brutus woke up in the crematorium situated in the graveyard on the corner of Wayne Road and Phillip Street in the southern Reed Heights. He was naked, covered in rancid slime, and tagged as a corpse. Jack White. Brutus was going to be burned alive, but luckily for him, he managed to escape. What are you doing? There's not enough structure there. You're going to fall, buddy. Come here. Come here. Let go. You, you can... You can sit! You're safe, you goofball! Alright, so let's tag this one and place on map. What's our directions there? Reed Heights, which I think was like way up here. Also, our character's name is Charles Reed. A place called Reed Heights? Come on, there's got to be a connection there. Alright, uh, let's see. Would you get comfy? Southern Reed Heights, corner of Wayne Road. Aw, oof. You just bonked me. You're adorable. Okay. I'd give you the snacks if you'd eat them. But you won't eat them. Ha! <laughs> yeah. You just got hair all over me. Alright. I think you got a, a speck on my glasses. Thanks. Oh, you're such a peach. Don't step there! Okay. You lay down against my thigh, okay, buddy? Alright. There's your good boy. Okay, Mr. Technical Difficulty. Now, Wayne Road and Phillip Street. Let's see. <laughs> Excuse me. Ibon Street. Alhazred Street. That's freaking hilarious. Phillip Street! Wayne Road! Thanks. <laughs> Wesker nuzzled my hand and zoomed in. Okay, so it's on the corner here. That looks suspiciously like a building. I mean, <laughs> of course it looks like a building. But the building that we're seeking. So I'm going to guess that this little smudge here is probably a, a ramp of some type that we can get up here. So let's place it there and fast travel... Oh, wait. I need a phone booth. I also need to get this off of here. Uh, edit. Down. There we go. Um. Alright, where's the nearest thingamajiggy? Aha! To the north! Oh, thank goodness a boat just materialized there. Thank you! And away we go! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Whoa! Watch it now, watch it now. Jeez. Oh, that's not gonna work. Uh oh. Ah, pull back! Pull it back! Yes! Oh, there we go. Whew. That was a close one. Alright, this looks more likely. Aha! There we be. There we go! Alright, now. Go back to the Reed Heights area and get there real quick. Hi! <laughs> Whoop! Running into a wall now. Wesker, you're distracting me. Wait, did I run past it? I did, there it is. Yoink! Alright, upsy days. 
Thank you, buddy. All right. And away we go. Delightful. Number. Oh no! No worries. Catastrophe, uh, catastrophe averted. All right, now. Fred told me he knows where the EOD is keeping Professor Harriet Doe, the leader of the Lost Expedition I'm seeking. Thanks for reminding me what I'm doing. That actually is quite helpful because I have such a break between these games that lots can be uh, forgotten. Hey! That's not a bad seat! I mean, it's completely waterlogged, and by the grace of the gods, it is still floating, but that's not bad. I'd take it if it wasn't, you know, submerged. Oh, ah, ah. oh, that's an ominous sign. Oh, that's an ominous sign, plural. Sorry. Banged into a frickin' grave. Hi, how you doing? Good day to you, kind sir. I hope the angels will be more merciful to you than they were with me. Oh, poor me. Poor you what? what? Do you need a drink? Uh, excuse me, sorry. Ah, uh, what happened? Did something happened. Some Danes robbed the graves in the cemetery. If, if I don't find the body soon, city council will find out. But but I have no idea where to start. I'll be fired. I know it. And it's the only job I'm fit for. That's what my mama said. Oh, poor guy. Here, let us help you out. I can help you. I'm quite experienced at finding people alive, usually. Oh. Sometimes Thank dead. Angels, kind Sometimes sir, in between. I'll repay you. I will. You'll find the three robbed graves in the cemetery. I marked them. And you don't need to muck up your suit lugging bodies round, sir. I can do that. Just find all three and tell me where they are. Please. Okay, buddy. But seriously, if you need me to uh, help out, I have no problem with that. I am head to toe in the perfect amount of uh, social distancing uh, pandemic attire. So no amount of corpses is gonna stop me. <laughs> Though I will say, am I at risk here of uh, coffins flying out of the uh, loosened soil and mud? Because I can handle the undead. But a coffin sliding out of the ground and just whopping me in the face? I'm not ready for that. <laughs> it's the unexpected amount of... Hey, is this safe? Something doesn't strike me about this as safe. Or something about this doesn't strike me as safe. Or some semblance of a, a sentence. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh... Not so much posterity, but uh, possibly something to avoid a legal fee. Okay, let's hop over that. Take it down. Ooh. Candles on a wooden countertop or a uh, shelf. Genius. I, th <laughs> I thought that was a Ouija board. <laughs> it's a Luigi board? No. <laughs> oh, I love that video. Oh, this must be a little house. Oh, that's so... <laughs> Ward off vampires. Nice. Ah. That is a sensation. Ah. I'm going to pinch my arm. Ding, 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 ding. You know, out here, the ice cream guys actually play the, uh, the ice cream jingle. The little song that they have. I forgot how it goes, but it's, it's the classic one that it's like almost everywhere. It's like, it's something like that. Back in my hometown, all they had was a bell. It was ding 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 ding. 
Ding 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 ding. They were too poor to afford a music box in a car that has a radio. Anyway. <laughs> oh, there appears to be some sort of vandalism that is a. The hell is that? These sure weren't ordinary grave robbers. Occultists! A cultist or occult. Either way. A book page. Hmm. During the exhumation of a mage, you need to protect yourself. Use the following signs and incantations to submerge the magician's mind into a deep astral dream. There's a library stamp at the bottom of the page. Property of Oakmont Library, close section, European literature, 19th century, page 145. Well, we're going to have to track down the 144 pages of the rest of that. Or, you know, find the book. But at least now we have a reason to go to the library. Nice! These sure weren't ordinary grave robbers. Oh, come on, can't I take the knife out of the ground and give it a look? Also, there is a bird that is on a dinner plate here. I don't think that's how you cook chicken, but I... Y'all heard that. I know you did. Okay, hang on. Actually, we have a shotgun, but all this time I've not... I haven't reloaded anything. Oh my god! Oh, that's already not, uh, not too bad. Okay, um... Cool. So, there's a something up there. We can go to the crematorium and then come back through the cemetery to figure out what's what. Running, running, and running, running, and. Hey, wait a minute. That's a low quality tree. But also, it reminds me of the ones from uh, Assassin's Creed hop up and get through this. There's a fair share of empty mausoleums. Usually there's a body in the... Ooh. Hello. What the devil? Oh my goodness, that's a lot of goodies. Thanks, random ass grave. Oh, uh, wait. Are we... Do we need anything? No, we're actually good. All right. Awesome. Cool. Okay. So... Wait. Uh, oh! Hello! All these bites are fresh. Ah, poor guy. His death wasn't fast. Uh-oh. Ah! Not you! Uh-oh. We're using a shogun on you. Hoo-yah! Hoo-yah! Oh, reload, would ya? Uh. You'll never take me alive! <laughs> so with these guys, I think that's the idea. Hey, where'd the other guy go? I know you're still here. Ah! Ow, my beautiful face! How dareth you? Oh, come on! What the? Ha-ha! <laughs> the speed shot! No one expects it. No one's prepared. All right, so, we... Oh, bloody hell. I used all of my shotgun shells. Dang it! Uh, can I get some more? Oh, fine. V. Pakalan. So you really thought I was joking? <laughs> hey, wait a minute! Irina Belos, brutally murdered by a passerby. Ow. Here lies Kirillo Kuznetsov. Vitaly Kolomiet was personally acquainted with the Graf of Andor. Andor. Anorlano? <laughs> Tatiana Rudenko. Forgot to turn God Mode on. Oh my God! These have got to be like backers for the game or something, or or Patreon supporters or something. Oh, that's so clever! Oh, I love that. They did that in Fable, and it was awesome. One of my favorite things in that game was reading the gravestone. Oh, that's so cool. What's this? 
Antonina Melenkova. Yeah, I'm dead. What's next? <laughs> I love this. This is great. Oh, get out of the way, rock. Oh dear. Jonathan Barkin. Quam ilam noctem horrendum vestrum in juramentum. Time to think about a horrible knife? Oh, no. Wait a minute. I feel like that's a Castlevania reference almost. Like a, what a horrible knife to have a curse. Okay. Paul, uh, Paul Milewski died for the sanctity of the embargo. <laughs> okay. Goodness, this is amazing. Oh, hi, first aid. How you doing? Actually, you're doing quite well. Me, not so much. But if I could just snag you there. Thank you. And actually, can we make another one? Well, hey! Awesome. I don't know why I sound like a Banjo-Kazooie character there for a second, but whatever. All right, so... Yes, please, I'm thank you. Yeah. Oh, darn it. There goes all my gunpowder. Ah, that figures. All right, whatever. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Well, oh, it's not fine, because I need to reload before anything goes on. There we go. Okay, we can make do with this. Hello. Oh. Ooh. Ice. Yeah. Oh, come on. Why else would I have this shovel this whole time? Dagnabbit. All right. Um, I feel like we're getting farther and farther away from where we need to. Uh, maybe not. St. Botolph's uh, Cemetery. So, this whole area is the cemetery. So, yeah, we need to go this way before we plow through this place too much. We did find a body, so we got that going for us, so we'll just have to track down two more bodies, I think? Wait, where the devil am I going? This away! Thar B8... Oh, that was just the shine of the texture. Thar B a building here, and we're going in. Knock, knock! The doctor is in. Crematorium. This is not a well-lit area. Imagine all sorts of dangerous, deadly denizens of Dell. No, uh, are gonna come after me. Okay, uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, crematorium floor negative two. Right. Sure. That works. Oh, how handy! Gotta make sure that we can wheel the guys down here. Wheel the bodies. The cadavers. The soon-to-be... The split-faced dudes. Oh, hello! Yoink! Why does the crematorium have a dungeon? Hmm. Not quite sure what to make of that, but all right. Uh, let's see here. That's not proper storage techniques. What are you doing? Oh, God. When's the last time this place had some rust remover? Got to be some clues down here. Uh, let's see. Check our casebook here real quick. All right, in this one, he was going to be burned alive, but luckily for him, he managed to escape. Right. Uh, Brutus thinks that someone close to him was planning to do away with him and that they and to take his position. He doesn't remember much, but thinks that the diary from the safe in his room may help discover that's in his manner. We're not there yet. So... 
yellow tag that was on Brutus when he woke up in the crematorium. His name listed is Jack White. Right. Okay. Uh, let's see what... Is that me? I don't like it. Crematorium Registry. Last week, person on duty, James Warren. List of the deceased, seven unidentified corpses cremated. J. Huss cremated. S. Cole uh, to be cremated. V. Black to be cremated. Jack White to be cremated urgently. Urgent? Why? Hmm. Suspicious! This week, person on duty, Robert Taylor. James Warren on sick leave since last week. List of the deceased. 16 unidentified corpses cremated in Jane. Cremated. Right. Okay, so... Wait, what? Oh, hello! Some keys! Can always do with some keys. Okay, so we got a mine palace thing. Smuggler's boss, ruthless tyrant. A man in a wheelchair made an example of the courier by burning him alive for his betrayal. Ironic, isn't it? That he woke up here about to be cremated. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Shift schedule. He wants to be a better man. Bring, being on death's doors brought Brutus to a, a new clarity on life. He's realized that cruelty is not the only option. <laughs> Brutus is never gonna change. Or a second chance for Brutus. Uh, Brutus. Brutus! There. After he regains power over his family, he'll continue as he always has. Murder will just be the start. A rush with death could make him more compassionate, make him see how eh, precious life is. I said tickle in my ear. Ah. <sighs> I mean, given how quickly he went to burn the guy, he could be trying to actually make a second chance, but I don't know. Oh, I don't know! I really don't know, because when we met him, he seemed a lot more uh, compassionate about things and legitimately wanted to make a change for himself, a change for the better. Which would, in turn, probably turn him into the most ever, and he would be the type like uh, King Koopa. He won't kill us. He's not that nice. But this one just feels like finality. I don't like ending chapters. So yeah, second chance for him. There we go. Right. And uh, clues? Oh right, we only have the one. Okay, so we got the key. We got a... What is that? Oh, don't shoot, it's probably priceless. Posterity. What's on the front of it? Oh, it's a face! Cool. Alright, so we got that going for us. Oh, there's nothing in there but springs! I can't do anything with springs! Dang nabbit. Yeah, whatever. Alright, so... Oh my god, it takes so long. Hang on. Can I change that? Can I turn up the uh, camera sensitivity? Because that is... Oh, that is atrocious! Uh, gameplay? Ah! Camera sensitivity. Turn up, you bastard! It's still slow, but far more acceptable. Let's see, uh, aiming with it. Ah. Oh no, there's someone behind you! Uh, bang, bang! That'll work. Alright, switch to the camera. Switching to teleview. No. Hello. Note on the door. I locked up and left early today. The keys are on the table. P.S. This morning I heard wild beasts near the cemetery. Be careful. 
Well, as long as they're near the cemetery and not, you know, near us. Oh, that's a problem. Ugh, what a stench. Yeah, never mind the fact that it's moving. Again, improper storage techniques. You know, I worked at a warehouse before. There are regulations and stuff about this. Anyway. Whoa. Holy crap, it's all... It's covered in the goop. Whoever held this poker has got to be covered in slime. Most deaf. Oh! And judging by the dried blood and the dent on this shovel, it was used as a weapon. Nah, really, you think? Okay, so... Oh, hello. Thank you. Is that a face in there? Just a bunch of garbage. I can't tell. What the hell? Oh, it's an elevator to bring stuff up from below. Okay. That makes sense, actually. Okay. And this is the crematorium part of the crematorium. Right. I got it now. Doink! Oh, yeah. That's what I thought. Open up, you. Things are coming to a head, so I'm gonna get a shotgun out. Just in case. Ah, oh, it reeks to high heaven. What is this stuff? I think it used to be a carpet. Oh dear. Someone tried to wash the stain out, but it's still slimy. Ah, oh, it stinks. Thank goodness we don't have smell vision. All right. Wallmaster? Oh, right. Memory. I forgot for a minute. I'm a detector. Okay, so, into the wild blue yonder. Right. So, yeah, he was in here. What by the angles is going on? Where, where am I? Ah, the ultimate way to wake up. I'll scare them all away with this. I am a Windigo. Hear me. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, he woke up, he got out, picked up weapon of opportunity right there, and went BAM on the first person he saw, trying to get clear and figure out where he is and what the hell's going on. Uh, I need to get out of here before he comes round. Oh, right, before he comes around. Aha! More stuff. Ah, another one for you. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. Let's get a handle on what actually happened ah. here. So it started here. Ah, another one for you. They Burn bagged him, him dragged him, and it's brought urgent. him down to the basement. And it... Oh, there we go. Then, way over here, he woke up. What by the angles is going out on? What's going on? Where, grabs weapon of opportunity, knocks I? the guy out, makes his escape. Uh, I need to get out of here before he comes round. Brutus was brought in by some group who had to deal with the crematorium worker. So Brutus woke up, knocked the guy out cold, and escaped. Oh my, that was actually effective. I went into the darkness and my hallucination jumped out at me and actually looked like it was physically there for a second. All right. Uh, oh, wait. Mind palace. James Warren was on duty when Brutus woke up and he went on sick leave shortly after. Interesting. I need to talk to James Warren, the man who was on shift when Brutus woke up in the crematorium. He's suffering from a head injury and requires urgent treatment. Well, that is true. Uh, he'd be at the hospital then. All right. A clue, Sherlock. Let's see 
where this clue shall lead us. We haven't been attacked. I don't know whether to feel relieved or concerned. Hmm. Oh, office floor. Nope, never mind. That's just a, a painted door. It's a Looney Tunes door painted onto the wall. Okay, so we get... Get out of there. Actually, uh, let's see. Devil in the Manor. Bruce's testimony. Hide out. I think we're going the wrong way. Aha! There we go. So we'll pin that. Put that away for now, though. Uh, let's see. Out here, we're looking for bodies. So let's. Some more. Let's track down some bodies. Interesting that the angel is crying over the sarcophagus here. Nice imagery. No! That! Posterity. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, that totally looks like a treasure chest. It's got, it's got separate lighting from the rest. Oh, maybe that is just me. Never mind. Not bad. All right, let's see what we got here. That is one mossy gravestone. That is useless for us. Okay. Um, let's see. We found the one dude that was All here. these bites are fresh. Ah, poor guy. His death was wasn't fast. Gushing over the gravestones here. Let's see what we can find. That's one awesome looking tree. About 30. Okay. Uh, let's see. Vlad Novikov sold swimming pools in Oakmont. Well, I mean, do what you gotta do, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's... Huh? Did I already... Oh, yeah. Forgot to turn God mode on. <laughs> this is great. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Oh! Virginia Cooper, 1887 to... Hmm. Another victim of the flood. An honorable citizen. Note left on grave. My beloved Virginia, I am fulfilling your final wish. You'll rest in your own house forever. Forgive me, for I was not brave enough to declare my love for you while you were among the living. I will atone for my mistake. Huh. Well, it's still technically a plundered grave, so... Yeah, but this, this feels different. Very neat. Someone spent a lot of time opening it. Neat and cautious, huh? Yeah, this is... I think this is a separate grave robbing. It might be included, and we should probably look into it anyway. But still. Oh. What the devil? Hey, some rope. We're going to have to bring some rope with us. Anyway. Oh. Uh. Wait a minute. Is this... Hey, wait a sec. If all this is here, then by rights, we should be able to hook ourselves onto that and, uh, in the diving suit and lower ourselves down. But we can't. Which sucks. Alright, whatever. Let's uh, go ahead and get that out of here. We don't need that now. But we do still need to track down the bodies. Two more bodies. Uh, excuse me. And as usual, my stream has cut off, but whatever. Daniel Krupa. I told you I was ill. <laughs> they should have listened. Je Jesse Cox! Lover of redheads, perhaps one too many. I love Jesse Cox! The dude is hilarious! Oh my god, that's awesome! Oh, I love this game. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> Chandler T. Wood whether we wanted it or not <laughs> oh my goodness 
Zack, Zack Jackson, don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> oh, these are fantastic. What else we got here? Alexander Tully, stood tall, buried deep. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's see. I think. Yeah, that's where I like came in here. We should head over in that direction. See if we can find another disturbed grave because we can't actually see where they are, right? Yeah. Okay. No problem. Uh, that way is back toward the, the house, but I just want to make sure that I'm thorough here. Check every nook and cranny. You never know when the uh, thieves might drop a corpse. I mean, it's constantly raining. It, it, it's slippery. <laughs> All right. That's a whole bunch of nothing. Ow. Beautiful. Okay, let's check. Get up there. Let's check the uh, disturbed graves for more disturbed graves. And see what we can find there. My goodness, this looks like a freaking uh, hornet nest of some sort. I was gonna say beehive, but beehives are a little more horizontal in their uh, their little lattice structures. It's still a honeycomb, uh, but different enough. The blood is almost soaked into the soil. Ooh. Oh, hey! We got a thing! I was hoping we'd find something like this. Thank you, mysterious ghosts of the past that are directing me in the path that I should take. At least I hope you're taking me in the right place. I remember at the beginning it did this before. Oh, my goodness! I walked right by you. Coffin was barely covered with dirt. And Gravedigger could do a better job. Well, don't insult the guy. I mean, oh, jeez. What is it? Edgar Taylor, 1896 to uh, victim of the flood. Right. Oh, I guess that's what he meant. He marked all the locations with that red cloth. I've seen a couple of them. Okay, so. It's incredibly descriptive. Okay, spirits of the past, screw you. We'll bench. Whoa. Hold up. Hold the phone. What is this? What are these? Oh. It's a, it's a gate I can't pass. Looks like a passage to the painted city of Ariandel. Let me in. I'm not done with that yet. Actually, I'm like very done with that game, but... One of these days, one day I shall return to Dark Souls 3. I do declare, and we will take on Slave Knight Gale, the Nameless King, and whoever else that I've forgotten to fight, which honestly is the Orphan of Cause and Bloodborne, but that's a different game. Um. Das is dot! Ow. Das is painful. Oh, wait, I've been here. Yeah, I can have it. Okay, so, uh, let's go to the far end now, and see what we shall see over there. Hopefully, a new... I was gonna say a new corpse, but something just took my eye. Holy hell. What happened here? Whoa! Now that's a whale of a good time. Or is, is that a... No, that is a, a whale. That is two whales that are side by side. For a second I thought that second one was a shark that was as big as that whale. My goodness. Holy hell. Okay, so clearly it's not going to be over there. That's too far. So let's investigate this red thing. Ah, right. This is the they first sure one we found. Ordinary grave robbers. All right. Yep. 
Yeah, yeah, get out of the water. Okay, so... We didn't find all of them, right? Why these three graves? Your cemetery is almost sunken, and half yeah, of its fine. graves are ruined. Why do you care about these three in particular? They were dug up by some people. That's bad. Others are sunken, taken by the mayor. That's not mayor? bad. You must not touch what was taken by the mayor, or the like waters nightmare? will curse you. That's what my mama said. Okay, well, not gonna argue with mama there. All right. I got a tiny bit left. No me. All right. So, obviously, we did not find that which it was that we seek. So let's search a little harder. Hello, buoy. How you doing? All right. Whoa. Oh, it's a pole. I saw the ripple in the water, the lighter spot right there. I was like, what the hell is that? Nah, it's just a pole. The water's laughing around it. It's fine. Aha! It's a red thing! Get out of the way! Get up there! Oh, so this is the uh, third grave that he marked. Okay, uh, in that case, why... Why does it still say that this place is unexplored? Oh. Right! I need to come back here somehow and get on this thing so we can do that. And then it'll probably be uh, all evidence and whatnot collected. So, uh... <laughs> oh, that didn't feel right. Blah! Alright. I'm fine, don't worry. Just gassy. Okay, so our boat is... There it is. There's our lovely boat, the Cyclone 3, which... Or wait, no, the Cyclops. The Cyclops 2. Oh yeah, the Cyclone was, uh, the Cyclone Mark 2 was the, uh, Miles Frower's, uh, mech that he controlled in, uh, Sonic Adventure 2. It was so cool. Transformed and everything. Okay, now, I'm blindly driving, so we need to find a teleport thing. Aha! Turn it around. There we go. Perfect. Just on Ward Street. I wonder if there's a a Charles Street and a Dexter Street. Actually, we are Charles, so if we meet on the corner of uh, Dexter Avenue and Ward Street, then we'll be Charles Dexter Ward. And that's awesome. It's one of the many Lovecraftian stories. I can't remember if Lovecraft himself wrote it, or maybe it was uh, Algernon Blackwood, or... or uh... Oh, what was the other guy I was uh, listening to recently? Robert Block. That's it. Anyway, all good things. Let's see. We need the hospital. Actually, we need the library, but... Uh... Wait, where's the library? Oh, wait! That's the library! Fantastic! But it's also not what we really need. We need the hospital. The Hospital of St. Mary! Is this the only hospital in the whole city? That kind of sucks, but... Thankfully, all we have to do is use a uh, phone booth, and we'll be able to get immediately to where we need to go. Ooh, more Hasbin Hotel comics. Awesome! Gonna have to check that out after this. Very soon, I've only got about ten minutes left on here. Nice! All right. There we go. Had a feeling it was about to be done there. All right, now...
So a plague doctor walks into a hospital. <laughs> oh, this sounds like a setup of another bad joke. Alright. I know it's a hospital, and wheelchairs are supposed to be here. But they still unnerve me! Anyway. Hello! Be safe. We don't have any free beds left. <laughs> no worries, buddy. If I need a, a nice cushy bed, I'll just hide in your mustache. Okay. Uh, let's see here. We're looking for a dude with a head injury. And I just went all the way around. Uh, my apologies there, sir. Uh, let's see. Ah! Anyway. This is just my visceral reaction every single time I see one of these. Alright. Hi, do you have a head injury? Maybe not. Hello? Oh, my stomach. I ain't never eaten leeches ever again, no sir. Nice hat there, dude. Okay, uh... This doesn't feel right. Let's go up one more. I think there's a... Yeah, here we go. Ding-a-dong! I seeketh man with head injury. Hi, how you doing? Not right. as ah, a nurse. That's the bathroom. There's a major problem. Um, hmm. Scratch me. Please, please. Just here. This itching is driving me insane. Don't roll around in grass. Anyway. Uh... Darn, I guess there's not really anything we can do here then. Dang it! Alright. Uh what about the other hospital? There's got there's another hospital. I mean it was a sanitarium, but wasn't there another one? I thought there was. Let's see. We got that one. The asylum. And all things considered. We dragged a body, a uh, cadaver, down to the cremation area, and the the body came back to life, covered in slime, and bashed me over the back of the head. Oh, that's okay, little buddy. We'll just get you whisked off to the professionals at the asylum. They'll treat you right. Okay. If he told anybody about what happened, that's probably where they sent him, so... I don't feel like getting the boat. Let's just fast travel. Why not? All right. Now then. Uh, Always does make me wonder, though, if I'd be better off just running as opposed to fast traveling. But whatever. We're here. Okay. So we need to head uh, north. No, east. This away. There we go. Nope. Where are we going on this side? Hello. Come on. How do I get in here? There we go. All right. Beautiful. Yeah, that's a long, bloody way off, but it's fine. No problem. No problem. <sighs> Locate and speak with James Warren. He may have a head injury. Hopefully he wasn't back at the crematorium place, because... Well, no, he wouldn't be there. I searched it top to bottom. There's nobody in the building. Hi. Anything I can help you with? Yeah, do you have someone with a head injury here? Ah! But not him. Let's see... doesn't feel right. Have I even been in here? Hello. Let's play. Hey, hey, that's what I'm doing. I mean, uh, we'd have to reshuffle the cards, but yeah. Hey, it's already won some money. The end is nigh. It will begin again. What is down comes up. The seed is sowed. Okay. 
No problems there. Just Oh hello. I still hear those voices. Yeah, that does happen. Um uh, maybe maybe higher up? Let's see. Is there anyone with a head injury here? Aside from the What the hell is that? That's a cool looking thingamajig. I like it. Ooh! Even more cool thingamajigs. Okay, that's just Cthulhu. Okay. <laughs> Ding it! What the? Ding it, dog? Ha! Ah! <laughs> I thought that was a person! I really did! Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that's clever. Hello. It all depends on how we look at things. Right. Uh, it's a bunch of rich people eating a ham dinner, I guess? Maybe it's Thanksgiving? I don't know. Whatever. Huh. <laughs> oh, honky is outside. That's probably not safe to leave that just open. Oh, hello. Don't mind me taking this unsafe stuff and putting it in a much safer spot, which is to say my pockets. Um, hello, Skelebro. How you doing? Right, that's just down in the lower area. Um, I don't think we're going to find anything of use here, which really sucks. I could have sworn there was a lot more people in the hospital earlier. Hmm. He wouldn't be back here, would he? No, that was like the the critical evidence that I found before. Wait a minute. Aha! Hi. Haven't you seen the beast? Uh, I've seen a few of them. Can you clarify? Do you see it? <laughs> You know what? I do see it. I got it for posterity, though. Never you fear. Um. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Maybe there's hospital records that I can track down somewhere. I forget if I can check the archives of the hospital and get it that way, or even where it would be, but we'll have to cross that bridge when we get to it. So, I am going to leave this episode here. I'm going to run over to the phone booth, just to make absolutely sure that I start the game next to it, next time on Death Knight. No. Sorry, let me to step on you a little, buddy. Oh, man, just walk the streets like this in this fog and play, like, a noir soundtrack. Turn off all the color. Like, I'll just switch off the color with my TV remote. Oh, this this would be cool. Ha! <laughs> okay. Uh. Excuse me. Anyway, I am all out of time. So, thank you for all for watching. This, of course, has been Let's Play The Sinking City. With me, Sully and Graves, and I will catch you in the next one. Meanwhile, there's a dog barking the entire time. What fun! <sighs> Later.